In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new security enhancements with Aviva's Wonderware System Platform 2017 Update 3. There's a lot of new features in this release that will make your control systems much more secure. With this release, we're using TLS, which is Transport Layer Security 1.2 which will basically encrypt all the communications between all the different Wonderware nodes to help eliminate any attacks on those different nodes. You know, TLS 1.2 is what the credit card companies use to encrypt their data, so credit card data is not breached. So Wonderware is taking advantage of that technology and deploying it down into the control systems. We're also encrypting external SQL Server database password connections, so we're not making them open and encrypting those communications also. With this new release, we have the ability to lock down the control system more than we have in the past. If we look at a typical process control system, there's a lot of different communication mechanisms going on. We're out there talking to the PLCs, we're talking to the HMIs, we're passing data up to our historian, we're passing some of that data up to our business users across the firewalls to the business networks and even to the cloud nowadays. So we want to make sure that all that communication is secure and we cannot get breached. With this encryption technology, we're locking down the typical protocols that we're using to communicate to all the different systems we have out there. SuiteLink is used to talk to, say, I.O. communication drivers or between in-touch nodes. Message Exchange is used in System Platform to talk object-to-object -object communications. iData is used in our newer systems for uh, OMI and linking information to our in-touch web and information from our historical playback features in OMI. So with all these protocols, we are deploying the encryption technology to make sure that it is secure, the communication between all these different nodes is secure, and it's going to lock those down to make it more difficult for someone to try to break into these systems and hack into our systems. In order to accomplish this new higher level security, we use this system management server. It's a server that we designate as the server that's going to manage all the encryptions and all the data communications between the different nodes to make sure they are secure. So to configure the system management server, we go into the configurator in Wonderware, and then we designate one machine as the system management server. This could be your Galaxy repository node if you're using system platform. So we go in here and we say, this is going to be the machine that is going to be the system management server. We drill into that, and then we define what those certificates are. We can have the system, the Wonderware system, automatically generate some uh, certificates for us, or we can import our own certificates that you get from your IT department. We can also see a little bit more information about the certificates that are being used in the encryption technology here. So now we're going to move on and talk about Wonderware Online Insight, which is the ability to take data from your process control system and pump it up to an online cloud-based historian that makes the data available to all different users. We can create dashboards. So let's go take a look and see what that looks like. So I'm showing here an example of an online Insight dashboard. This data is being collected from multiple different data sources, aggregated in the Cloud Historian. We create these dashboards, then people can log in from a web browser, no matter where they are, as long as they have an internet connection, they can see this data. They can see this data on their phone. There's an app for the phone. And all these dashboards are drillable. So if I want to drill in, I can see a little more information about this. If I want to go to a trend chart. So just an example of a dashboard. We have other videos out there that explain this in more detail. But to get the data up there, we can pass that data up through a TLS connection through one port in the outgoing direction only in your firewall and make the connection very secure. Also with Online Insight, we can keep track of your system's performance. We can look at downtime. We can calculate OEE. So we can just collect that data from your local data sources and pump that data to Wonderware Online. And we can create these types of charts. And it'll tell you where your downtime is and what kind of OEE you're running at the plant. So Online Insight is a great tool to pump data up to the cloud, to capture a lot of information from IoT devices and get that information to one common database and start doing some analytics on that data. But one question I always get, well, how do I make sure that connection is secure? A lot of people don't want to poke a hole through the firewall and you know, expose that process control network to the actual internet. So now we have the ability to do some things to make that connection much more secure. We have the ability to put in some DMZs and we have something called a secure link. It's a piece of software that we can run, say, on a computer inside the DMZ 
that will basically whitelist the communication and only allow communications from certain controllers down to process control network and push that data up to Wonderware online. It will not let any data come back down from that business network or from the uh, internet back down into the process control network. So it's a piece of software that we can install inside that DMZ and set this thing up so we make sure we have a communication path that is secure. It's one direction only. So we're not getting data back down into that process control network. It's only going to send the data in the outbound direction only. No data is going to be coming back into your process control system. So it's Insight Secure Link is a piece of software we can add to make that connection secure from your process control systems to get data up to Wonderware Online Insight. You can be sure that the data going from your process control system up to Wonderware Online Insight is very secure. It's using encrypted technology, SSL, TLS communications there, using typically port 443 to make that connection, which is very secure. So your data in communications between online, Insight, and your process control system is very secure. Once you pass your data up to Wonderware Online, you can rest assured that your data storage is very secure. We're basically using Microsoft Azure technology, so all the communications and all the security associated with Microsoft Azure you have at your disposal to make sure a multi-tenant environment is very secure to make sure that the data is not breached. To learn more about the security associated with Wonderware Online, you can go to the Aviva Trust Center at the link on the screen. So thank you for watching today. If you have any questions about what you saw in this video, please contact me at the email address on the screen. Thanks again.